Hey guys, it's Banks from the Game Tree here. I'm sure you guys how to get 100% in Hitman. This is going to be very simple. And if you follow along, you should be able to get all the locations done. My goal is to try to get underneath 30 minutes. There are a few missable achievements here and there, and I'm going to try to get them there as quickly as possible for you guys underneath 30 minutes. This is a start new run. I would have been doing this on my account, but since I already have it done, it's no bother. Um... This game is coming to Game Pass on January 20th, and by the time you see this, is probably on the day of. Um, we're gonna get everything done. We're gonna, you have to do the escalations, the challenges, and etc. You don't have to do all of them, but enough to get to Mastery 20. And we're gonna do all the miscellaneous achievements all in one video. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want me to uh, critique me as I go, so I can prove the videos as long as possible. If you want me to be a little bit louder or et cetera, that'd be nice. And I love to increase the, the quality of the videos. So as we get going, there is a slight hiccup for this. For some reason, it didn't start off, even though the person I'm playing on this account never touched this game. I don't know why it didn't play the intro, which I thought it was weird. So if you have the exact same problem, just go to destinations, go to ICA facility and the prologue arrival. And that's how we basically start this. Right when we start this, what do you want to do? You can skip the cutscenes, of course. It's exactly what I'm doing because I don't want to spoil it. Simply press B, turn around. And just make your way up the stairs towards towards the Welcome big doors. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lines, please. We're gonna be skipping the cutscenes here. And once we arrive at the boat, which is right here, which is basically a little pretest. As I zoom around the area, we're gonna go to that left side over there where that window is. But it wants us to hold RB so you can see the target which is right over there. And using instinct is gonna show where all the guards and the target is as well. Making our way to the left, we're gonna to climb to this window. It wants us to go to that little gateway where the two guards are, there's really no point. It's just gonna tell us to come in here either way. Just simply take out the mechanic. Sneak up and, subdue him quietly. and then once subdued, you take his disguise and you should unlock your first achievement. You put on his clothes. Shh. The first. What you're gonna do is turn around and drag his body. We're gonna go to the bathroom. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, and then we're gonna dump him inside. Once we dump him inside, we're gonna turn back around and we're gonna board the yacht. This is basically telling you how to save the same silly just hit start and back. B. Hold on. Make your way towards the stairs, go up the stairs, and we're going to go left. On the right side, there is a red door, and there's going to be a kitchen. It's going to be the kitchen. There is a chef in here as well. We're going to subdue that guest, that chef. Once you subdue him, we're going to put him in the freezer right behind you. We're going to dump him inside, and we're going to be dressed as him. Hold RB to see where the target is, so it can make us follow him, so you can skip that cutscene. Go out, make sure it's at the far end, not the one that you just came through, and come out, go left, and then go right, and take another right, and then come up these stairs, and we're gonna do another U-turn. When we do a U-turn, we're gonna Keep on going all the way over here where the sky is at, at this table, and we're going to blend in. I'm going to fast forward to here, where the target's going to meet up with his client, and he's going to follow his way through. So basically just stop blending in and go left. Go past the two lovely guards. Go past the set of stairs on the left. On the right side, there is a open window fought through. We're going to lay against this boards by pressing B. We're going to pull out our pistol, our silent pistol. And basically, we're going to wait here until Diana says to go. Once we take out the target, 
with our pistol we're gonna quickly go and drag him to the back room basically the bedroom that's basically to your right side next to his body i'm gonna speed up right here You can equip your gun by hitting up on D-pad or unequipped. It's up to your choice. The bedroom is right there, as I shown right there. Just wait on Diana to say the words. Now is your chance. Aim and shoot him in the head. Unequipped, crouch down by hitting right on the joystick. Drag him, put him into the bedroom. Make sure you go to the left side and dump him inside the cabinet. Once you drop and uh, dump him inside the cabinet, the guy should turn around and notice that he's not there and he's gonna leave the room. This guy really does move like a cat. Once he leaves the room, once you're clear, instantly just go to the left, climb out the window, and just go down the stairs. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. And that should be it for their first time. We have to kill them in three different ways, guns, explosives, and etc. It should be very simple and you should be able to get it done as quickly as possible. Run to the red car, hit the button. And now it's gonna make us do free mode without any guidelines. So simply just skip through this. It's instantly gonna put you in. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every chapter. Once you're in, it's just basically free roam. Basically, there's no guidelines, and it gives you a set of challenges. Once we start on the table in front of us, there are three coins. We're going to pick up these three coins. We're going to pick up the bomb. We're going to equip the coins by hitting left or right on the D pad. You could change whatever. We're going to walk up to Mr. Norfolk, which is the white. The guy with the white suit we're gonna crouch down right there or basically hug next to it we're gonna turn around and we're gonna throw this coin where this black tile is throw it in the corner area so this guy could so mr no folk would turn around and know hear the sound make sure you go the opposite way he's going because if he sees you there's a chance that he would say knock it off and he would go back to the exact same spot he is going once he starts going if he's not far enough or when he bends over Throw the coin, and you just want to get him far enough so the cops won't see you when you subdue him, which is right here. This is far enough. No one can see you back here. Once you subdue him, equip his disguise, and I apologize if I went a little bit too fast right there. What you want to do is just basically go where you came from. Just basically go up these stairs. They None of the cops or guards or anything is going to say anything to you since you are the VIP of this mission. Make your way to the top and the target is right there. We're going to go and speak to him before he makes his way downstairs. Hello, Mr. Norfolk. Mr. Norfolk, we meet at last. So good of you to fly down. Shall we? Lead the way. Once he leads the way, once we enter the room that we killed him in the past, in the past load. Move on, please. We're basically into that one room. Mr. Norfolk. Once you enter this room, close the door behind you, and what you want to do is equip the bomb. When you equip the bomb, hold down uh, down on D-pad. I'm going to equip it again, but up on D-pad to equip, down on D-pad to drop, walk away, go towards the window, hit RT. It's going to blow them up, climb out the window like we did before, and just simply just walk your way to the red car, and you should get your achievement unexpected guest disguise yourself as mr no folk and assassinate assassinate the target and the mission and now we're going to the final test this exercise is available for as long as you need The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. Once you get a chance to move, get out of cover. Go a little bit ahead in front of this guy. You cannot leave this area. If you do, it's going to be kind of trespassing. So we're going to go to the right side. And you can see there is a gap in the fence of the barbed wire. We're going to hop the fence. 
We're going to follow the fence all the way around. And in front of this car, there is another gap in the fence we're going to climb to there. And in front of us, you can see that there is a generator. We're going to disable that. Simply go go back and hide behind this pliers of wood. And this guy is going to come and try to turn back the generator. But we're going to stop him. We're going to subdue him and take his outfit and his gun. The gun is going to be to another missable achievement. Subdue him. Drag him to the crates by dumping him. Take his outfit. And we're going to take his gun. Make sure you put on the the floodlights, the generator, so no one could come back here. Make your way to the left once you go through those two doors, those gates. Once you make your way to the window, we're going to go through the right side. Do these two doors, the double doors. You're going to see these two guys talking. And right next to them, there are some projector slides. Once they're done talking, what we're going to do is save the game. So I recommend you save the game right here. Do a manual save because it will save us a lot of time. We're going to turn back around. We're going to open the doors and basically we're at the beginning. There goes the guy who was standing right in front of us. There goes the spawn. We're going to run to these two mechanics. We were talking about safety procedures. Did you print out the safety protocol for the jet? Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, do we really have to do this? Things considered. We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Hit so, back and then it will automatically track it. But first, he needs to test the jet's safety features. Make your way back inside where the guy where the two guys were at. The ejector seat mechanism. You could and what we're going to do, you can see the guy is sitting down. We're not going to equip our gun just yet, but behind these two boxes. This is basically a crate. We're going to equip our gun, down on D-pad, and just simply keep on going. This is going to unlock another achievement. The guy is going to see, he's going to bring it inside. We're going to run to the side of this plane, and there is a clipboard on top of this crate. We're going to examine it. Make sure you don't get caught. This guy, it, we're going to have to take out this guy and take his airplane mechanic disguise. Hello, recruit. He's going to go to the back room. Back there, you can see that he just took the gun, which is right there. Soon we're going to get the achievement. We're going to subdue the mechanic. And right there is the crate. Dump him. Equip his disguise. And right there on the right side, there is a crate that has a wrench. We're going to need that. I want, I'm going to warn you right now, go to the left side of the plane. Don't do what I'm going to do, which is go to the right side. I'm going to get caught. I didn't expect him to see me, but go to the left side and do this. And equip it. Now I'm going to have to run around. If you don't, he's going to get the guards on you. So I'm running around right now. Well done, initiate. Is he chasing me? And basically, once he's done chasing you, make your way up these stairs. Uh, Mr. Mechanic, what's up? And we're gonna go talk to Jasper Knight. Jeez. You can see that they're about to lose me as they just went white. Make your way into his room and go speak to him. There is a chance that he will be glitched, so you're gonna just gonna have to walk to him. We gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Oh, must we really? As I spoke to him, he's not moving. He's just standing there against the wall. That oh, is okay. a glitch. Just simply walk into him, and it's gonna push him, and he's gonna simply turn around just like that. 
do not run. There is a chance if you do run, he will just simply turn back around and go back to do what he was doing. So I just simply walk that. Just walk your way all the way down to the clipboard that you saw the safety procedures on. And since we disable, we enabled the ejector seat, he's going to get killed by that. Which is going to give us a missable achievement as well. Make your way to the clipboard. He's still following us. And just initiate it. Simply, this is basically just hit Y constantly until the cutscene happens. And I'm going to fast forward here because it's just a bunch of talking. This constantly hit Y. Every time the button co um, combination shows up. Put down the clipboard and just make your way to the exit, which is basically the spawn room. You should get your achievements, tools of the trade, accident, ballistics, and explosion kills. This is for the Jasper objective seat and go hit the button. Congratulations. Now, what we gotta do is that sadly there is no load function. I hope you know what you just skip this cutscene or watch it if it's your first time. We're gonna go to destinations, ICA facility, go to the final test, go to play, and once it loads, press. The final Skip the cutscene, go to load, and load up the manual save. Once you load up the manual save, go to the right side, open up the door, go up the stairs. This is basically the room that we came in from the window, which is right there. Go up the stairs, go to the left, and all the way back to this projector. I was wondering where the captain is at, as I didn't see him. I could just place it on here, he's going to get him anyways. And simply, what we're going to do is do the waiting game. It should take us a minute or two, and there he goes right there, he's going to go, he's going to see something and go get the target. Ah, the slides arrived. About time. Once he sees him, go out the store, which is lead to the outside. And stand by this power switch. What we're going to do is just fast forward a little bit. As we're waiting for him to come. It did for him, it did take a while for him to finally come. He came over, the target came over here, but not the general, the captain. He didn't even come over here, so I was just waiting. And it did freak me out. I thought I was too late. It should be no problem. He's going to come back again. See, he just sat there. Then he just walked away. I was like, oh, shoot. Then I mess up. But no, just simply wait. And the general is going to come and get him. I don't know why why he did that. I legit freaked out. And I started turning off stuff. And I turned back on. And I saw him coming back over here. And there goes the general. As he simply walk into the room. Before you turn off the light, wait for that guy who's walking towards you to stop. Because if he sees you, they're all going to get started, startled, and they're not going to do this and electrocute the guy. What you want to do is get the general to electrocute the target by accident. Once you turn it off and no one's seen you, Jasper, the target, is going to mess with the projector. And the general is going to come out here and he's going to mess with the switch and he's going to electrocute the target. I'm going to get into cover just in case if he was an enforcer, which he wasn't, but he is in the other ones. And the Hitman 2 and Hitman 3. Make your way to the door, open the door, and just simply go towards the exit, and you're basically done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more guides here, subscribe here. Um, if you guys want any more guides about this Hitman 2 and Hitman 3, including the sniper levels, let me know. Just simply exit. We are going to be doing the escalations on the other levels as well and this. I didn't want to cover in this because it would be way too long. And they take like 15 minutes to complete. I'll do the one that's the easiest and that doesn't take anything. Does It's not really a hassle to do. So I'll see you guys next time and see ya.